ബിബിസിയുടെ സൗത്ത് ഏഷ്യ ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഹെഡ് മിസ്റ്റർ സുനിൽ ജോഷി വിൽ സ്പീച്ച് താങ്ക് യു ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ഡിഗ്നിറ്ററീസ് ഓൺ ദ ഡയസ് മിസ്റ്റർ രാജൻ മിസ്റ്റർ ബി ശിവദാസൻ ആൻഡ് മിസ്റ്റർ സിദ്ദഖി മിസ്റ്റർ ഹരികുമാർ ആൻഡ് മിസ്റ്റർ വിനോദൻ ഐ ഐ താങ്ക് മിസ്റ്റർ വി ഡോക്ടർ വി ശിവദാസൻ ദോ ഐ ഡോണ്ട് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് മലയാളം അറ്റ് ഓൾ ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ ഐ കുഡ് മേക്ക് ഔട്ട് ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ ട്രൈങ് ടു ടച്ച് അപ്പ് ഓൺ ദ യൂസ്ഫുൾനെസ് ഓഫ് ദ ടെക്നോളജി ഇൻ എ നോബൽ വേ right and uh, if it goes into other direction it kills us only and that that's how we have to make use of the technology and this whole exhibition is uh, getting organized year after year uh, i i am amazed to see this at this scale i mean uh, every year i have been coming except past couple of years because of pandemic uh, people do gather and they meet it's it's actually uh, the renewal of the energy that takes place here everyone believes in these efforts and they put forward uh, their best uh, you know uh, products in this exhibition they exhibit it for 3 3 days and then i think they benefit uh, otherwise also other than having monetary benefits uh, in this exhibition in this uh, god's own country kerala uh we have a uh, number of unique things that uh, you know as a nation we look forward to first of all the literacy rate of the state is ever higher compared to uh, any other states at one point of time we used to say 100% literacy now it is 95 96% but the other parameter also if we look at uh, the male female ratio this is the only state i think where we have the female ratio is higher than the male ratio so that also uh, you know talks a lot about uh, the whole of sincerity and uh, about the work or as a culture uh, in the state now uh, coming to the whole uh, effort and the people behind the organization behind these efforts again a unique uh, organization an association of uh, cable operators uh, they are all uh, shareholders of this organization and they are going uh, you know strong and strengthening themselves year after year so if we look at the whole population of kerala that is say approximately 40 million around 4 crores and households would be around uh, 7 million uh, approximately and out of which kccl has spread almost uh, to 3 million households so it's nearing the half of the households and uh, their efforts uh, you know the whole trust aspect of it has given few more uh, uniqueness you know the whole country is actually if we look at uh, you know how media wise it is divided it is uh, hindi speaking market and then it is south india and uh, in south india kerala is again unique because uh, with the freedish penetration that we see rest all other states here we don't see that that all credit goes to the platforms and the content parity they could keep between broadcasters and platforms and uh, that is i think something great that this part of the world is doing and uh, whole credit goes to uh the platform operators broadcasters and lcos and then their uh, relation with the last mile customers so this is again a unique thing now coming back to uh, taking forward the existing business line you know it all started with cable now we we are uh, talking about broadband and then again kccl is leading into that i just got to know that close to 7 and 1/2 8 lakhs of households are actually uh, that way digitalized from broadband point of view so now here here the whole point comes you know technology will keep evolving and uh, no one can stop it now how do we make use of technology as uh, uh, doctors uh, uh, sivadasan was trying to point out 
here broadband uh, and cable both are coexisting they as at this point of time at some places may be clubbed together in a hybrid box that could be the next step where um, platforms will end up providing the hybrid box uh, today now that is again a churn limiting factor which this organization could uh, manage so the cable connection along with the broadband connection and um, uh, the additional um, content consumption that any household would look forward to has been supported by the same organization. Now going forward, when we talk about the 5G readiness of the telcos, which will eventually come to this part of uh, the state also, uh, this part of the country also, is that uh, the, the, the humongous speed that we refer to when we talk about the 5G thing. So uh, what is 5G is the, the, the connection with the maximum speed with the maximum data or signal carrying capacity. Now, when we talk about the convergence of all services, uh, you know, cable plus uh, mm, uh, other content, OTT, etc., uh, that that consumption uh, uh, basically this whole uh, infrastructure of 5G will drive uh, more sophisticatedly. So, keeping that in mind, tomorrow, suppose a distribution operating platform decides to converge these services. Uh, like you know which is beyond broadband and IPTV and uh, they can they, they put OTT apps and the cable live cable and they make their own app suppose KCCL tomorrow decides to come out with their own app which will have 360 degree solution like uh, your entire cable uh, catering to the type of audience that we see which is they are comfortable which is appointment viewing because people do plan their day and then they spare some time for their entertainment which is typically referred as a prime time in the evening and then uh, additional viewing patterns that we see where people do enjoy um, you know uh, the content at the cost of their rests and then sleeps also at times so when we talk about this 5g readiness again who will end up benefiting that who will keep uh, tight close watch on the technology and make good use of the technology and uh, eventually uh, converge into such a technology that that speed will complement the development of the organization. So um, future is hybrid. At one side entertainment, cable entertainment is catered by cable and then broadband requirements are catered by broadband connection and then uh, when these things are happening, uh, last mile cable operator will have an opportunity to earn additional, though we say uh, there could be some churn because of OTT, etc. But broadband connection will complement it. And it is possible only with the cable network and it is uh, more even possible with KCCL because of the structure they have in operations. So uh, all aspects of business can be taken care of and when it gradually progresses, it will entertain the user user generated content also that's what we see in youtube which is actually dominating the advertisement sales market it's so more than around 50 percent global revenue of advertisement is only youtube drives so that is the kind of potential we are looking when we grow with the technology so um so that's and, and the end consumer point yes we need to take their interest into account they will also have their choice when we uh, you know, uh, handle our technologies in our favor. They will also be able to watch the content as per their convenience. They will decide whom they want to watch. They will decide how much to pay for what kind of services. And packaging also will rule. Now packaging, I don't relate to only cable TV channel packaging. I relate to OTT plus cable and other uh, digital products. And now when I talk about digital products, digital uh, and hybrid product is what is basically a interrelation between linear and digital becomes the hybrid as a service. And that is going to uh, happen. The linear services as per the services, uh, as per the surveys conducted across the Asia Pacific, etc. This subcontinent is going to continue with the linear at least for next seven to 10 years. 
and then digital will have to collaborate with linear and offer the hybrid solution then only digital penetration is possible so that's what it is saying so india's story along with the states here all is the linear plus digital which is hybrid and uh, this hybrid uh, uh, service will ensure both the uh, technologies and uh, ultimately when this technology is provided to the end user we end user would like to use it for their benefit for their social media presence for uploading their own content and that becomes the next generation uh, content provision uh, process so with these broad horizon and the possibilities of the technology etc i uh, wish kccl will sail through all these things and uh, come on a horizon as a bright shining star i wish all the best always to them thank you njangalude oru sneha upaharam bahumanapetta mp shivadasan nalgunnathinu vendi kccl chairman 